about five years ago, um, I got a call uh, just inviting me to try writing some songs for the script. And uh, so I read through the script and, and wrote a song called Walk on Faith. And so I'm pretty excited because I uh, recorded it five years ago and uh, just to see all the work that Zandi and Laura have done and, and uh, just to make such a beautiful picture and it's exciting to be a part of it. So I started my career on the composing side, uh, worked on 65 feature film soundtracks and uh, just had the great fortune of ultimately working on the score for My Big Fat Creek Wedding, which was the first indie film that I'd done in my career. And that kind of opened my eyes to independent filmmaking. And I just had the desire to sort of give it a go myself. And so I set out to find uh, a book, which turned out to be Jones. Um, had the chutzpah to actually write the screenplay. And um, didn't intend, honestly, to direct the movie. Uh, it just sort of worked okay. out scheduling-wise. Uh, once we got finance, we needed to kind of move forward. And everybody was like, look, you're the one who developed it. You have a vision for it. It's in the script. Why don't you go for it? So I did. Um, but truth be told, I set out to do the whole thing because I was looking to make a movie that I would want to score as a musician. So that's, that's always been the genesis of my creative process and, and where I start. You know, I came on board because I believed in Alexander is a creative being in his vision, but also the storyline and the message of Joan Anderson's book, which is it's never too late to reclaim your life. It's really about rediscovering yourself, allowing change to enter your life when it needs to, and gracefully moving through it. You know, I, I really, I was introduced to the project in the very normal way that actors get introduced to any project is you get an email from your agent telling you that there's a script they'd like you to read and I read it and really liked it and I literally walked running went running out the door from my apartment to a bookstore and um, got the book and read the book and a couple days later I met Alexander Janko and we just talked for about 45 minutes about the project and I left there hoping that they would ask me to do it. I knew that he was going to meet with a lot of other actors, um, but sure enough, a couple days later, they asked me to, to play the role. So I related very easily to the character. Um, you know, there's, there's certain parallels in my life. Um, uh, I have a son. Um, I've been a mother, and, and you know, my son, at the point at which I read the script, was also out in the world on his own, and I was sort of in the process of redefining my life, and uh, had taken quite a bit of time off to, to be a parent, so I had an instant connection to the material, yeah. When I was in the middle of my life, my husband announced that he was moving to Wichita, Kansas, and I said, I don't think so. And I moved to a cottage on Cape Cod, where I spent a year by myself. And it was the best year of my life. And I really rediscovered who I had left behind. The book is really about what, it, what was outlived in my life. My, I was done being a mother. I was done being a lot of things at home. And I really needed something new, but I had no idea what. So Cape Cod and the nature of it and the beauty of it and the quiet of it really gave me the chance to figure that out. Well, first of all, all of us that are part of Silver Spot, we're here because we love film. We love everything about the movies, and we want to bring the best movie experience to our community. And yes, it's the big Hollywood fair, it's the event cinema, it's the operas, it's the ballets, but we also want to bring a little something different, like you saw tonight. We want to bring the filmmakers to the public. You know, on we do this once a month, you know, where everyone can come together and you can get to know the people behind the lens and also in front of the camera. So it, it's a connection. And, you know, it's, it's, people are here because they love the movies. Okay, so, so if the slogan is that you're the butterfly capital of the world, caterpillars, butterflies, the rebirthing, it ties into our movie. It's never too late to reclaim your life. So Coconut Creek must be the place where there's, it's the cocoon. We're the, we're the new cocoon. Well, and also just um, thematically speaking, Karen Allen, when you speak with her, when she had to develop this character, because it's such a complicated um, character-driven piece, she had to break it down into 
stages so that she knew where she was each time she was filming and she actually used the butterfly as an example to help her get through knowing you know where she's supposed to be in the script as we're shooting. So I would actually say the reason why we wound up at Silver Spot Coconut Creek is because the ninth stage of Karen Allen's deve butterfly development in the film <laughs> was to come down where all of the butterflies are yeah, for the she, opening she of the movie. Spread her wings tonight at Coconut Creek. <laughs>